Hey everybody, I've always wanted a way to automatically refuel my shuttle, but I didn't think it was possible until today, when I figured something out. I might not be the first to figure it out, but I've never seen anything on it, so here goes. First, you're going to want to dig down underneath your landing pad, and using a tall platform with a canister on top to gauge the height, you want to dig down and make it flat with an alignment tool until you have the canister popping out just barely. Next, we're going to want to use that same tall platform, take the canister off and put an auto arm on top of it, and we're going to line up the output area of that auto arm with the center of the landing pad as best we can. Uh, beforehand, we're going to have to dig out some soil there so we can place the platform and then just line up that blue output circle with the center of the landing pad. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's probably best to get it as close as possible here. And we're just lining it up. It's not going to stay on top of the platform. So there I kind of mess with it and I finally get it pretty much centered. At which point we're going to want to replace that platform with a medium platform A or C. I prefer A. Uh, before you do that, uh, so I'd like to use the platform as a, as a guide to make sure that the, the, the medium platform is square, but you can't do that until you fill those outer four slots of the tall platform with something. I'm using hydrazine just because it's handy. It can be anything, though. And once you do that, you can take the... Uh, yeah, I put the auto arm on top, too, there to make it easier. So... This, this will make it easier to align it. Now you can use the top of that platform to align the medium platform A. We'll unpack it and there might be a better way to do this but I just did this real quick today. Um, this is the point where you replace the tall platform so just carefully move it paying attention to where it was and drop the medium platform A in its place. What we're doing is taking advantage of the height reach of auto arms, which is considerable. Uh, so th we're making sure that the thruster is at the very top of its reach. So we plop that down. I use a QTRTG for the power. You can do whatever you want. Uh, then put a, I put a medium canister there. Of course, you can put a lot of them. Um, then I'm taking the hydrazine off the thruster so we can test it. Turn on the auto arm and you'll see it start loading it's loading that thruster up and we just want to make sure that it's not going to load uh, hydrazine onto any other slots on the shuttle and it looks good the one thing you want to be careful of is not to put any medium silos on large silos too close to the landing pad or the shuttle because hydrazine will be put on those but other than that it's pretty solid i know there are some better ways to do it but hopefully this helps some people Thanks for watching.